Hey lambs, Kai here, holding my mic like I'm a reporter again. No, I never wanted to be a news reporter, but for some reason with my desk, it's just easier to hold my mic. However, I haven't gotten the hang of how people hold their mics and don't have like all that feedback or stuff in it. I don't know. So forgive me. In this episode of Kai Rants, we're going to talk about a mother, another mother who decided to leave her babies inside a car and it gets a little bit worse. Before we get started, don't forget that Kai Rants and All of Love and Murder is sponsored by My Lamb Patreon, patreon.com forward slash love and murder. Head on over there for all the extras that you're not able to get here. Like, for instance, did you follow yesterday's Kai's Rants? It became an entire episode. It became a full episode. And the extras? I have case files, photos, down a whole rabbit hole. Oh my God, so much that I have over there in our Patreon on that case. Go ahead and join to become a Patreon and get all that extra. And on other cases too, patreon.com forward slash love and murder. And also if you would like some merch and just to support love and murder, head on over to my new Etsy store, lammarket.etsy.com, L-A-M-M-A-R-K-E-T.etsy.com. Now let's get into this Kai Rants. This comes courtesy of ABC News and it, their headline states, mother goes into bar, leaving two babies inside idling unlocked car. Can you imagine that? This happened in West Melbourne, Florida, which is around 75 miles southeast of Orlando. A police officer in the area was just doing his routine business patrol on Sunday, this Sunday that just passed, October 22nd, 2023. And he saw this black SUV that was parked behind a bar called Penny Ann's Bar, and he noticed that the engine was running. So he went to go take a look because why is it parked here? Why is the engine running? Are they just running in and picking up something or what's going on? Did they fall asleep behind the wheel? What's going on? So when he went to look inside the running SUV, he saw that there was an eight month old baby asleep in the back seat and a two year old. Quote, the doors to the vehicle were unlocked and the vehicle was running. The registered owner, 33-year-old Jamie Lee Gunn of West Mulburn, was located inside the bar visiting with a friend. So after the cops secured the location, secured the car, the baby made sure they were safe and everything like that, he went to see, first of all, where's this mother? He found her in the bar. How long have you been in this bar? She was in there for, quote, at least 20 minutes. So she was in the bar for 20 minutes. She had no idea a grown man had gone to her car, opened the door, seen her two children inside. Can you imagine if it wasn't a cop? If it wasn't a police officer and he did all of this, he could have just taken her children and left and she was none the wiser. And it was parked in the back of the bar. So you know, like no foot traffic is really going through the back of a bar. It's usually through the front. So it's like, People wouldn't even notice if this were to happen. Anybody could have come in there, done anything to her children. Nobody would have noticed because it's in the back of the car, in the back of the bar. They could have literally just jumped in her car and driven away, taking her children and the car. And she would have not known because she was inside visiting friends. So when the officer let her know, either the officer let her know because his partner was out there with the children or he told like someone in the in the bar to let her know that I'm out here with your children. When she found out, well, let me say this quote so you could just hear it for yourself. Quote, when Gunn learned law enforcement was outside with her vehicle, she was more concerned about going to jail than the welfare of her children. I mean, wouldn't your first question be, are my kids okay? I mean, I guess if you would leave your kids in that state, you really don't care if they're okay. You know, people are telling me to be nicer. Yeah, I don't know. In this situation, I can't be nicer. There's no way that I could think that she cares about her children if she left them in that state. I I know some of y'all, very few of y'all, very few of y'all have asked me to be nicer. But how can I spin this to be nicer? Like you can put it in the comments below if you can spin this to be nicer. But how can I spin this to be nicer? She left her children in the back of a bar at night in a car that was on and the doors unlocked in what universe can I make it nicer on her I I don't know 
And I guess the police didn't know either because she was immediately arrested and charged with child neglect and taken to the Brevard County Jail with a $15,000 bond. Jamie does have a criminal history, which is contempt of court, possession of drug paraphernalia, forgery, and driving with a suspended license. So, I mean, her criminal history really has nothing to do with her children. So it doesn't sound like she's abused her children or anything like that. She's just careless, I guess. Not really sure. The children were turned over to a family member and Department of Children and Family Services were notified to conduct a follow-up investigation. So what do you think about that case? I'm like, I'm too, and you can't see my hand, but it's above my head. I'm up to here with these people and not giving a damn about their children. Like this is the second Kai rants I've done about a child in a bar. I mean, is a bar really that important? And if it is, why aren't you leaving your children like this where your children are now? Why couldn't you have left them with a family member if you really, really needed to visit your friend so badly? Or why couldn't your friend come and visit you? That's my question. Why could your friend not come and visit you? And some of the comments on this one is uh, somebody named da Dano said, Mother of the year candidate. Sad to think she's going to get the custody of these kids back after a slap on the wrist. Gobo said, unbelievable, just horrible. Doesn't deserve to have the kids. Which I agree. Someone else, QM said, my father used to leave us three daughters in the car while he went into the bar in the late 70s. I suppose we didn't know it was wrong until we got older. We did hate it though. I also remember my mom finding out it never happened again after that. See, your mom wasn't about that life. Your mom said, absolutely not. I don't know what's going on in your father's head. Not to talk about your dad. I'm just saying, I don't know what was going on in, his fa in your father's head. But your mom shut that down right then and there. Someone else said, if she's allowed to have custody of the children, it will be just a matter of time before they are dead. Yeah, I don't know if I'll go that far. I, I don't want to speculate and say they'll die. Yeah, I mean... I see where you're coming from, though. I see where you're coming from because that was a really irresponsible way to leave your children. And yet anybody could have taken them, like I said. But there is no, well, I'm going to say based on this, there's no evidence of her abusing them or literally ne neglecting them to the point that they're going to die. So I don't know if I'll go that far. Do you lambs agree? Let me know. Another user named Joyce said, she might as well have put a big sign on the car saying, attention, human traffickers, perverts, here are some free victims for the taking. That's what I'm saying. There might as well have been a big, bold sign pointing at the car saying that. Anyway, what are your comments on this? Let me know in the comments below. I want to know what your thoughts are on this. And if you haven't already, listen back to yesterday's Kai's rant because... Oh my God, that one was just, just a doozy. Wow. That one, that's all I could say about it. Wow. It was a doozy. It started off with me thinking one thing in the middle, I changed. And then I went back to thinking another thing like, whoo, that was a journey. Anyway, that's all I have for you today for Kai Rants. I'll see you in the next episode. Remember all love and no murder. Bye. <laughs>